Hey guys, just a quick video to uh, talk through, as you can see by the title, the amazing win over Man United. We'll kick off first half, Man United put on their common pressure. It's always going to happen when you're playing a top 16, well, top 3 team, top 4 uh, at the very least. But we dealt with it well. John Ray had an amazing stint in goal um, yesterday. And moving into the second half, again, same sort of thing for the first 15 minutes, but Carrillo gets away down the left puts in a little cross just to the sort of edge, top right edge of the six yard box and Pilkinson's there just to help it on its way a bit, help it over Lindegaard, Lindegaard yeah. and um, we went 1-0 up and again another half an hour amazing saves there was a stunning save from a corner um, went through a cram of players from Ashley Young and John Ruddy just got straight down to it and then another save with Sebastian Besson was trying to head over to send the ball uh, over for a corner just in the last sort of like two or three minutes and um, it was just going in and John Ray had to make a really good save just to put it over and in the final final seconds of the game Paul Scholes was put through and Ruddy saved the ball and then jumped on it just before Scholes could react um, just to seal up the points he got on with after it he picked the ball up Booted up the pitch and the ref blew his whistle. Um, what a win! You know it's memorable. In you know we now got six games, five in the league un, um, and one in the league cup unbeaten. Three wins and two draws in that, uh, and not easy wins. You know the first it started off with a win over Arsenal, which everyone's saying oh that's that's going to be the turning point of, of um, Norwich's uh, season. Then the game against Aston Villa, a one all draw. Really, you know, I think we should have got all the points if we'd had a bit more finishing, a bit more pro prowess in front of goal. We could have easily got all the points there, but it doesn't matter. Uh it's a point and it's un it's staying unbeaten. Then an amazing night night in the cup, two one, both goals in the last ten minutes. Send us through to the quarter final. Um Stoke the one nil win. Bit nitty gritty, you know, maybe uh, a little bit of luck with the choice with the um, choices by the ref, but we don't get much luck with the ref, so you know you have to say it was coming. Um, nil nil against Reading, you know I was a little bit upset with it. I thought we really should have done a bit better, but doesn't matter. Again, it's another point, and we kept on beating, and now to have a great victory against Man United, you know, no one saw it coming, and it really doesn't make the front page of the um, football sport page on PBC. Um, always shows you've done well, uh, and the big thing is. We're now sitting 13th on with 14 points. Um, Sunderland and Fulham are playing at the moment. It's 3-1 to Sunderland just after Session scored a screamer. Um, if you watch this straight after I've put it out, watch that match today, um, tonight. It, it was an absolutely fantastic goal. But, uh, Fulham have a free kick just outside the box. Um, the big thing is we got 14 points. Now, if we get 20 points before Christmas, I would definitely say we're definitely staying up. Um, there's no question about it, and I think we can get 15, we can get 20 points before December. Everton away is a hard game, but they lost to Reading, uh, which was Reading's first victory of the season. QPR still haven't got a victory in the season, and still sitting firmly on the bottom in foot with only four points. But yeah, we 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 could give them a good running uh, for their money. Maybe a little bit of luck. One of their players gets called off sick. You know, I don't want to say injured because I don't want any player to be injured in their career. But you know, maybe one of their players is sick and can't play or something like that. But Fellaini not being able to play would be amazing for us. Um, and then Southampton away off that. You know, I mean, we got to beat Southampton. Uh, they're on eight points, so they are eight nineteenth. Um, it's got that's got to be a win. So I I'd be happy if we go into December up to seventeen points. You know, sitting sort of mid table, because the best thing is, I mean, Sunderland are playing today. This is the highest amount of goals they've scored, they, and they're still only. If this game stays three one that they're playing now, they've still only scored eleven goals. They scored, you know, that's, that's a tiny amount. Although they're on the attack now, it's four. It's four one. <laughs> so, but oh no, it's offside. Well, there you go. So it's still only three one. Um, so they've still only scored 11 goals the, this entire season. We should be able to beat that at home as well. And then Swansea away, we, beat, we it was only us and Man United who could beat them um, at the Stadium of Light, um, Liberty Stadium, isn't it? Yeah, Liberty Stadium. Um, 
last season, so why can't we do it again? They haven't been playing as amazing as last season. They have lost a little bit of touch, but Michi is still deadly. They did beat Newcastle, but then again, they haven't been playing as as well. Um, so why can't we beat them to kick off December? Both of those teams, um, and I think if we have if we get nine points before the quarter final, I think Chris will be like, you know what, we got. I mean, 23 points in the league. You know, why not? You know, let's give let's give the league cup a real good running. Castle One Cup, sorry. Because after that, you you got to think about it. If he plays a strong squad, it's Villa at home. You know, we 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 did dominate them, if we're being honest, uh, when we went away uh, before and definitely after they went down to 10 men. And the goal was just it was it was completely against the run of play, if I'm being honest. Um, that's not the big thing, you know. Play a strong squad. They might have to rest up some players. Um, which well, might decide to rest up some players. They did get smashed yesterday, 5 0 by Man City. They're still ninth, they're in relegation. Um, Lambert's not a man who likes the cup that much. And why not give it a go? You know, you then got the semi final, which is two legs. It doesn't even matter who we get. The quarter final is that high, but, you know, that's that's what I'm kind of hoping. I, I think, you know, we're having a real good season now, we're on a good run. I hope we can keep it going. And, Leave a comment what you thought about the game and uh, leave your predictions for the next game, which is Everton away, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.